This evening's forecast? Intermittent water creatures with large clouds of silver sides reducing visibility to several feet. admit that when I heard about roaming pigs at Playa Porto Marie, it was destined to make the shore dive collection. You can find Willie and Woody eating, bathing, if you can call it that, scratching, and sleeping at various places around the grounds. But they are just the appetizer. There is so much more to enjoy. As you walk toward the beach, you will pass a souvenir shop, an art area where you can take a painting class, and a full-service restaurant with terrific food. You can rent beach chairs, day beds, and cabanas on the beach, or enjoy a variety of comfortable seating adjacent to the sand and around the restaurant. You can rent lockers, rinse salt water off when you're done in the water, and even get a massage on the beach. On top of all that, Porto Marie Sports has some great facilities to make diving here a breeze. So whether you come here with dive buddies or sun worshippers, no one will be disappointed. We typically jump into site logistics next, but not before another handcrafted subscription plea. It's our hope to provide useful information about each shore dive that you don't typically see in other videos. This is the 11th in the series, and our small channel is growing with each one. That said, if you do enjoy this content, let us know by hitting the subscribe button or writing a comment below. We appreciate the love and will channel that into even better shore diving videos, if that's even possible. Thanks! Smiley face! Playa Porto Marie is on the western portion of Curaçao's leeward coast. Unlike Aruba or Bonaire, which generally have a main road traversing the island, Curaçao has quite a few roads that get you to different parts of the island. So directions for Curaçao dive sites will start from the closest main road, which should be easily found on any car rental company provided or downloadable map. For Playa Porto Marie, we will start by heading northwest from Willemstad on Wagnar West Punt. When you see the St. Willy Brodus sign, turn left on Wagnar St. Willy Brodus and follow that for three miles. Look for this Playa Porto Marie sign and turn left again, this time on Wagnar Porto Marie. In half a mile, the road becomes a bit less urban. A quarter mile after that, you come to the entrance. Follow the narrow driveway for three quarters of a mile. Turn left at the arrow and drive some more. Take a ticket, which doesn't appear to be used for anything other than counting cars, and continue on to the parking lot. There is ample parking on the dirt and grass covered field atop the hill overlooking the beach. At the edge of the parking lot, there is a lookout tower that provides spectacular views of the coastline below. While there isn't any shade for your car, there are lots of places to take shelter on the beach. The best place to gear up is at Porto Marie Sports, the on-site dive facility. You can rent equipment from them, and they have several large areas to set up your gear. They also have a shop with lots of snorkeling, diving, and other equipment for beach-related activities. There are several rinse tanks and a very nice walk-through rinse area to get the sand off your feet and booties. Quick note about the entrance fee, you still have to pay it even if you bring your own tanks and gear. Most divers we saw entered from the beach, but there is a ladder at the end of the pier. The sandy bottom slopes gently under the floating platform toward the reef. 
We do have a word of caution, however, in case you or your friends enter without booties. We saw several scorpion fish in less than 8 feet of water. And finally, we did hear a few motors overhead in the distance, so be aware of your surroundings when near the surface. The beach placement on the bay puts the reef compass headings at 225 degrees southwest. Shore would therefore be 45 degrees northeast. A map of this very interesting reef is hanging on the wall in the dive gear assembly area. Be aware that while there is a chain in the shallows, it starts and ends there, so don't use that for navigation. This reef is super fun because it's broken up by a large sandy terrace at about 50 feet. In the middle, there is a large piece of metal debris that may or may not have some critters hanging around. Sandy chutes at both the top and bottom create very interesting swim lanes that are fun to explore. The reef starts at about 20 feet and goes down to over 100. Here is a bit of the landscape at various depths. As far as highlights go, there are a few things you may want to look for. Check under the floating platform on the way out. You may just find this school of juvenile sergeant majors, or perhaps something else seeking a bit of shade. We're not sure if they're here all the time, but over the course of a week there was an incredible school of creel wrasse all over the reef. And they were just as active on our night dive. The sand shoots are fun to swim and you never know what else might be swimming through. The rocky shoreline on either side of the beach has beautiful landscape with large boulders and lots of nooks and crannies for juveniles to hang out. Dotting the underwater landscape are a number of reef balls which have been placed in the shallows to help restore damage from Hurricane Lenny in 1999. Be sure to check those out. You could be surprised by the amount of life inside. Every time we dive, we capture some special and unique moments. Among those at Playa Porto Marie were this trumpetfish and yellow goatfish hunting team. Later on, a different trumpetfish took quite an interest in my camera. I was trying to capture this juvenile dusky damselfish when an adult dusky damselfish literally played party pooper. We also saw this spotted cleaner shrimp going to town on a peacock flounder. Here are some of the other cool animals we saw during our day dives.
highly recommend a night dive here as well. Aside from the aforementioned pesky silversides in the shallows, we saw quite a bit on the reef. Here are some of the things you might see after the sun goes down. Enjoy! Thank you. 